This is Dr. Christopher Rapuano from the Corneal Service at Willis A Hospital discussing some corneal suturing techniques on a pig eye. First I pick up the needle about two-thirds to three-quarters of the way from the tip. Then I grab a nice hefty bite of corneal tissue and I place the needle right in front of the forceps and not to one side or the other. I'm also careful not to pull the first half to one side or the other. Then I grab a nice hefty bite of the second half, go deep, and then push the tip through, making sure it's nice and radial. Then I grab the needle, avoiding grabbing the very tip as I don't want to dull the tip. Here I grab the suture end pointing downward as it makes throwing the suture easier. I pull the other suture end fairly short and I'm doing a 3-1-1 square knot here. I pull the suture end short to make throwing the suture easier. With a square knot, you adjust the tension on the first throw, and then I am pulling the knot tightly to achieve a nice small knot. You can add a fourth throw if desired. Again, pick up the needle about 70% from the tip, grab a nice hefty bite of corneal tissue, Put the needle right in front of the forceps, go nice and deep, grab a hefty second half bite, go deep, and then use some counter pressure with your forceps, push the needle out so the tip comes out far enough so you're not grabbing the tip with your needle driver. Grab the suture end pointing downward, pull the suture end short, and start a slip knot. The first throw is a regular single throw. The second throw goes behind and around. And to tie it, I stay on the same side to tighten it without crossing over. I pull up at about a 45 degree angle to tighten the knot. Then I check the wound tension. With the knot in the middle of the wound, I tug gently to the side to check the wound tightness. Since it is a slip knot, you can adjust the tension as needed at this point. When you're happy with the wound tension, you can complete the knot with two additional single throws. Again, I'm lifting up in the air at about a 45 degree angle to tighten the knot and not the wound. Here again, I've grabbed a hefty bite of corneal tissue and I'm placing my needle right in front of my Calibri forceps going nice and deep. I grab a hefty bite on the second half with my Calibri forceps, go nice and deep and then using my Calibris as counter traction, I'm pushing the needle through, being careful not to grab the tip. Here I'll do another slip knot with a single regular throw, then going behind and around for the second throw, lifting up in the air to tighten the knot, and then come down to tighten the wound. A little fluid on the surface makes it a little harder to see the tension of the wound. I dab the wound dry and it's easier for me to see the tension. When a suture ends up too loose or too tight, if the ends have been left long, it can be retied as opposed to having to throw it again. The knot is pulled away, the short end is cut short, the suture is grabbed close to you and then cut between where it's been grabbed and the knot the knot is pulled through the wound, leaving the far end short, and then a regular slip knot can again be done. You have to be careful to make sure the old knot does not end up in the new knot. Here too, the tension can be checked, tugging the knot to the side. This works especially well when it is dry as opposed to very wet. To dry the cornea, it is better to dab it as opposed to wiping it as there's less damage to the often fragile epithelium. The knot can then be completed with additional single throws.
when cutting the suture ends, both can be cut at the same time, but I find it is more precise to cut one at a time. To bury the knots, I grab the suture parallel to my tying forceps. I grab the suture far from the knot and then attempt to bury it. Bearing on pig eyes is not as easy as bearing on human eyes. I do find it often helpful to stabilize the cornea on the knot side, which often helps to bury it, although not in this case. Here I'm going to bury it, and then I like to leave the knot completely buried, but near the surface. Thank you.